God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. This is Minister Rashimba Battles coming to you here on uh, another segment of The Power to Become. God bless you. How are you guys doing this beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon? We give God all the glory. We give God all the honor and we give God all of the praise. I am coming to you here from our beautiful sanctuary here in King's King of Churches. And of course, our service has concluded, concluded a little bit ago. Um, but guess what? As with our Sunday custom, my brothers and my sisters, um, I definitely want to share with you at least two nuggets. I tell you, um, from, let me see, today's Sunday, yesterday morning, um, on our covenant prayer line, because we do have our covenant prayer line, uh, for those of you who do not know, and I definitely like to share that every time that I connect, because we all, they're there, you never know who, um, is looking for a, a, um, a, a location that they can connect, um, for prayer and truly King's Kingdom Churches here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, we are a place of prayer. Glory to God. And I mean, the body of Christ, I mean, that's something that we do, right? Um, but um, here in King's Kingdom Churches, that is um, our foundation. The Word of God is our foundation, and we are definitely some praying folk, okay? Um, and we have our covenant prayer line of speedy recovery of day and night, uh, seven, excuse me, 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. every day. Can you believe that? Every day. Wow. And it is powerful. I thank God for it, my brothers and my sisters, to start your day and to end your day. Glory to God, my brothers and my sisters. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, and it is powerful because you are um, in the presence of God Almighty. So, you can connect, glory to God. Um, uh, if you don't have a church home, we welcome you, glory to God. And even if you do, we have uh, many different leaders that God has given them. They are a shepherd of their own flock, um, but they connect you know, um, because our, we are a healing and, per, and a prophetic ministry. Our founder and overseer is Prophet Eric Okau, and I thank God for his life. Um, I thank God for using him so mightily. Um, just behind me, it's just a few of our booklets here. Uh, well, not booklets, but books that our prophet has written. Um, powerful, powerful, powerful um, um, teachings. And I give God all the praise because the word of God is our is is our is our um, is our tower, you know. It is our beacon. Glory to God that leads us and guides us in the way that we should go. God's word is God's voice. Glory to God, my brothers and my sisters. And as with again our Sunday custom, definitely like to share some of the um, divine nuggets with you. And um, oh, let me give you the number for our covenant prayer line, okay? It is 857-232-0155. Again, it's 857-232-0155. Um, and then when you call, um, go ahead and put in a six-digit code, all right? And that code is 778117. It'll take you directly into the line. Um, and just make sure that you don't have any background noise, all right? Because if you're moving around, cooking, doing this, doing that, if you can, try to put that stuff to the side because it's just like you're coming into the sanctuary. The only difference is that we're on the phone, right? But we're still in the presence of Almighty God. So, um, and we don't want to be a disturbance. And guess what? I want to make sure that you get everything that God has for you in that message and the teachings and the prayers. I just want to make sure that you get everything. So, um, just watch your background noise. And if you are in an area that you really can't have no control over that, well, guess what you can do? You can just dial four and star that little asterisk button on your phone or your keypad, push that and you'll hear a line, a voice that says line, um, muted. So you can hear us, but we can't hear the background noise. All right. And also, guess what? When you call, let me know that you're connecting. Glory to God. Let me know your name too. Okay. So, and you say, well, how can I do that, Minister Ashimba? Great question. Just text me. And because, you know what? I love to connect with you all. I really do. Every time I've had the opportunity to connect with someone, uh, one of my Facebook friends, I tell you, it's just such a honor and a privilege. And I'm humbled. And I thank God for you. I really, and really, truly do. I thank God for what he's doing in your ministry, in you, and through you, my brothers and my sisters. Um, and so my number, all right, ready? Here we go. 
919-537-6144, right? 919-537-6144, and um, text me and say, hey, Rashima, I'm on the line. And that is Eastern Standard Time, 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So whatever time zone you guys are in, you can kind of govern yourselves accordingly, all right? Um, so without further ado, let me just share those nuggets with you. Um, and you can also watch the message in its entirety. You can go to Rashimba Battles or Humbly Bold Battles, or you can go to my prophet's page, Eric Okaru, that's O-K-A-U-R-U, -O right? And you can watch it when I tell you it's going to be a eye-opener, revelation upon revelation. Ah, my God. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Make sure that you go ahead and watch it, all right? Um, have your notes and your paper. And normally I do have my piece of paper, right? So forgive me, guys. I don't have it with me right now, but guess what? I have it right here. So I have two points that I'm going to go over with you, but I'm going to be um, listening to it here in a little bit. And I'm going to be taking more notes because um, thank God that I have the opportunity to be in service. I'm in media, so I have the opportunity to um, just to be in service in the house of God. Um and, and being in service is a very, very powerful thing. It's an awesome thing because, you know, we're not just serving ourselves, but we're serving God and we're making sure that the word of God is going forward, that people can see it, just little things that we really have to pay attention to, attention to detail. Um, I thank God. So whatever it is that um, that you can do in service unto God, make sure that you, uh, um, and, and you say, well, what can I do? Ask God, you know, and there's so many things in the house of God. You can always reach out to your leaders. Hey, what can I do? Praise team, choir, usher, cleaning, whatever it is. Nothing is bigger or smaller, my brothers and my sisters, because service is service. So long as it's coming from your heart, it has to come from your heart. Glory to God. So, Without further ado, again, yes, um, the two divine nuggets, my brothers and my sisters. The first one is, uh, and, and, and it's coming from the place of how high we set our expectations, our frustrations, how we are in, we, we find ourselves in that place of disappointment. Why are we disappointed, right? And we find the reason for that, why are we disappointed in the, 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 the son or the daughter didn't do what we asked them to do, or either they, they just did something that was just like what they're acting out, or whether it's a, from a, 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 a young child to a, a one of our adult children. Why are they doing that? Why why are they acting? Why are they this? Why are they that? Or either, why is a husband doing this? Why is a wife doing that? Why did they say this? Why did my boss treat me that way? Why did my colleague Dave say this? Why? I thought they were my friend and now they're doing this and they're doing that. Ah, questions. So many questions, right? My brothers and my sisters, there was such a huge light that was shed on all of that, all right? And, 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 and when I tell you this thing is big, this is big. Um, the reason we get disappointed, my brothers and my sisters, is because, you see, on our prophet, he came from the book of John chapter 11, and it talks about the, um, it's John, yeah, John 11, uh, the Lord's Prayer, right? When the, when the disciples, they asked Jesus to teach them to pray, and he began to teach them. He said, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, um, um, and then it goes in, um, not, not thy will, uh, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that is where the revelation came in. God gave that to my prophet, Eric Okawa. When I tell you, this is huge. Oh my gosh. So um, God's will is done not just in, 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 in earth, but also in heaven. But you see, the reason why we get disappointed is because we are looking for perfection in an imperfect world. Oh my gosh. Why is this? Why is that? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? Why did this happen? Why coronavirus? Why all of these things? We are asking God, why? Why did my family member die? Why did my coworker die? Why? And, 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 and why? Why? There is no pain in heaven, but there's pain here in earth. There is no divorce in heaven, but there's divorce here on earth. There is there there's so many different things. There's why there's no suffering in heaven, but there's suffering here on earth. What are we saying? 
disappointments, my brothers and my sisters, the reason why we are disappointed and we say, well, you know, such and such let me down. Well, for one, our expectations are too high because we are expecting perfection from, from people, from situations in an imperfect world. Glory to God. That was, I was like, wow, oh my gosh. And it just really, I was like, wow. So, I mean, it's just like the word of God as the word was coming forth. And even this morning on a prayer line, I was like, wow. It's like, I, I am literally looking at myself. And I, I can honestly say, every disappointment in my life, I cannot fault nobody by it. I cannot fault nobody else. I cannot. You say, Rashinga, that, that, that don't make sense. What do you mean? You can't fault nobody else. I cannot fault anybody else because my expectation was too high. I cannot fault the, 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 the ex-husband. I cannot fault my children. I cannot fault my sister. I cannot fault my brother. Anybody who has done anything to me in my life, guess what? I have been the one that has been wrong. Me, me, I've been wrong. Because my expectation, I'm expecting them to be perfect. Oh, my God. My brothers and my sisters, when we arrive at that place, forgiving people is so much easier. Because now you won't be holding them accountable for something that they didn't even know that you were uh, 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 expecting, excuse me, expecting from them. Oh, he hurt me. Oh, she hurt me. They this, they that. Does it, does it, does it excuse them? It doesn't. They did it. But guess what? We all have sinned and come short, right? We all have hurt somebody throughout the course of our life. We are all guilty of this. But yet we want to hold somebody else accountable and we want to just hold that in our hearts. And now we are a, a, a captive. We are held captive. We are held prisoner in that place of anger and hurt. And we want them to hurt just like we hurt, my brothers and my sisters. But should they not have done it? No, they should not have. This should not, this should this not have happened. Should the loss have not have taken place, we would like for it not to. But guess what? We are in an imperfect world, but we want perfection. And we cannot have perfection on this earthly, in this earthly realm. We cannot because it's not heaven. My brothers and my sisters. <sighs> One of the, um, the, another, well, that's one nugget. Another nugget I'm going to share with you. Um, for your destiny, all right? Don't count on, for your destiny, as you are going forward, and you're moving into business or you're building your business or you're already in your business or you're in school or whatever it is that you're pursuing. My brothers and my sisters, first of all, make sure that you're keeping God first. Don't pursue something that God don't even want you to do. Okay. Um, secondly, your destiny. You don't. Hey, you don't need money for your destiny. Ah, when I heard this, I said, "Oh my gosh!" And they said, "Hold up, we need money for everything." My brothers and my sisters, what you need, and this came forth in the message. See, I'm just giving you little tidbits because I want you to go and listen to the message. What you need. It's courage for your destiny. Because if you don't have courage, then guess what? Everything else is you're not going to get what you need. You need faith. You need courage. You need, and, 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 and it is that faith that ignites that courage, my brothers and my sisters. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you need courage for your destiny. You don't need money because it will come. So long as you are standing in the word of God, you are standing on what God has said, what uh, uh, concerning your life, concerning your destiny, concerning your ministry, your family, business, whatever it is. Okay. You need courage. Glory to God. I tell you, this message was so, so powerful and it just blessed me. So, um, and, oh, wow. It was another divine nugget I wanted to share with you. Holy Spirit, bring it to my remembrance. Um, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Well, I didn't share it too with you already. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, I'm trying to remember. 
and it's going to come to me when I disconnect, but it is well. I still, I wanted to make sure that I shared two um, uh, divine nuggets with you. And um, I tell you, you know, so when you find yourself, you can save yourself a whole lot of frustration. You can save yourself a whole lot of stress and anxiety. You say, well, I didn't get the promotion. So, and, 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 and yeah, I want to share this one. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, being grateful, being grateful. Okay. This is like the end part of the message. Being grateful, no matter what it is. You say, well, I didn't get the job. Uh, I didn't get the promotion. I didn't get the job position. Somebody else got it. Give God thanks. You see, the first thing that Jesus did when he went when he went to where Lazarus was, okay, because Lazarus was um uh, when he got news that Lazarus was dead. What did he do? He didn't. Yes, we know that Jesus wept, but what did he do? He gave God thanks. So no matter what the situation is, stay in that place of gratitude. Stay in that place. You say, how can I be grateful when so many negative things is taking place in my life, in this world, in my family, in my business? How can I, in ministry, how can I stay in a place of gratitude to God? How can I say, Lord, thank you when I, my world is literally flipped upside down? How can I do that? My brothers and my sisters. When you think about all the goodness of God, you are still living, you are still breathing, you are for, um, for signs, and you are for wonders. So that situation, uh, it, my brothers and my sisters, is not going to take you down. And see, this brings me to the point, thank you, thank you, Lord, for bringing it to my remembrance. Uh, without no crisis, there is no assignment. Oh, my God. Ah! Jesus, I felt that. Without no crisis, there is no assignment. So you see, my brothers and my sisters, every hardship, every, when you feel like, hey, I don't know what I'm going to do. Things is just all over the place. I'm scattered here. I'm scattered there. What, Lord, what in the world is taking place in my life? What is taking place in this world? Why is this? Why is that? My brothers and my sisters, stay in that place of gratitude. Stay in that place of thanksgiving. Stay in that place, my brothers and my sisters, because it is that place of gratitude that even though you don't know how it's going to work out, you don't know when and you don't know the where's, you don't know nothing. But one thing you know is that God Almighty is upholding you and that in all things, you are more than conquerors, that you are already on top, that you have already came out, that it cannot take you down, it cannot defeat you, that you are already overcome. You have already, you have already made it through. See yourself at the end of it. Glory to God. You see, because when God speaks, right, he tells you what he's going to do, but there's still a path that you have to take. There's still a journey for you. There's still a journey. There's still things that you're going to have to go through. There's still a, 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 a trial. There's still fiery, there's still fiery trials there. There's still going to be something that's going to uh, oppose what God has said. And so therefore you have to stand, you stand on God's word, not what the, what, not what the, the situation is presenting to you, not what other people are saying. Block all that mess out. My brothers and my sisters, only thing that's, that, that counts is what God has said. Hallelujah. And that is what will get you through. Glory to God. So know that without no crisis, there is no assignment. Oh my God. We say it because many times we may say that every, we may have in our minds, our natural thinking selves, that our assignment is going to be easy peasy, it's going to be smooth. No, my brothers and my sisters, but we have a guarantee that anything you go through, he said, uh, he said, Lord, I'm with you always, even until the ends of the earth. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. You keep God first, keep God first in everything my brothers and my sisters, and you will never be second in anything in your life. You will never lack. Glory to God. You say, hold up. That's not how it looks. Stop looking in the natural. Glory to God. Because God already has a ram in the bush for you. Glory to God. Speak it. Because if God will not move beyond the words that you do not speak. So you have to speak yourself. He says, so I got to speak myself out of this thing? Yes. God has already brought you out. Now you got to keep speaking it. 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 Hallelujah. And people will look at you crazy. They're like, hold up. What are you talking about? You still walk. 
walking slow. You you still got symptoms of this and that in your body and in your health. Your, your marriage is all discombobulated. Marriage uh, ministry flipped upside down. Family crazy. Ha, ah, my brothers and my sisters, you are for signs and you are for wonders. Every crisis is your, if you don't have a crisis, you don't have an assignment. So thank God for that crisis. Thank God, my brothers and my sisters, because you are going to see God move so mightily in your life as never before. You're going to see God move in a way that you would never anticipate, my brothers and my sisters. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In this our month of supernatural breakthroughs, my brothers and my sisters, this is the, this is the, see, God is the, he, he's the, the, the supernatural that causes the natural to shift in your favor, my brothers and my sisters. He is the one that will turn the hearts of kings and judges. Glory to God. He is the one that will turn the hearts of attorneys. He is the one that will turn every situation around for you. Glory to God, because he is God. Hallelujah. And you will know that it is that it is his finger. So stand, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of God. Don't stop. Don't give up. You do not have permission to give up. You must keep going. You must keep going. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. I hope that this was a, 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 a lifting for you. Glory to God for your family. Share it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, and my brothers and my sisters also know operation. There is a way out. Um, what uh, You say, well, what's operation? There is a way out. Well, I am going to be ordering and I'm in the process. I'm in this assignment. Yes, in this assignment. And this assignment where I'm, order, I'm going to be ordering 1,000 books, 1,000 copies of my book from the pulpit to the pulpit. If you haven't got it, make sure you get it. It's on Amazon or either reach out to me. I'd love to send you a copy. I'll sign it too. Glory to God. And send it to wherever you want me to send it to, okay? Um, just inbox me or text me. All right, 919-537-6144. You want to reach out to me to get more information? I'd love to hear from you. Glory to God here on the power to become my brothers and my sisters. You see, the power to become is not just something that just came out of thin air. This is what God gave me, and this is what uh, this is the heading for everything. This is the foundation. And it comes from 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. As we behold the glass, it's what we see is what we become. What we see is what we become. So what are you seeing? What are you seeing? What are you beholding? What are you allowing into your ear gates? What are you allowing into your eye gates that you are, that, that you are becoming? Okay, glory to God. Know that you are unique. You, your unique self. You don't have to try to be like anybody else. Be the person. Be you. The Be the person. Be the you that God has put you here to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters. So uh, uh, again, uh, operation. There is a way out. This is these are books that's going to be distributed to the different um, facility, uh, state and federal prisons to women and also to men. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, because there are many who have given up. They are. They don't think that God loves them. They don't. They have just given up on life. They've thrown in the towel. Many have turned their back on them. But you know what? No matter where we are, and there are many who are even in prison now. Even also, uh, uh, they're in prison. Um, um, not in the actual prison, but just in prison, in bondage. Glory to God. Many of us are in bondage. My brothers and my sisters, we are in our own prison my brothers and my sisters, but it only takes God to bring us out. My brothers and my sisters also will be sending the copies of the book to the homeless shelters. Just tells, it's a snippets of my life, okay? Um, talks about how I was in my younger, my youth, how God opened my eyes at an early age, how um, I went into foster care. There were some instances of abuse there. It's in the book, how I was in the military. Talks about um, how I went into the adult entertainment industry from the pulpit to the pulpit. And today here, God has made me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. An ordained minister of God. And I thank God. I thank God for my spiritual father, Prophet Terrell Kukau. I thank God because where your planet matters, my brothers and my sisters. It matters so much in your growth where God is taking you, your destiny. Oh my God, it is such important. It's so vital. Glory to God. So make sure that you are planted. You say, I don't know if I'm planted in the right place. God will lead you. God will guide you. If you're looking for a place to be planted, God will show you. Glory to God. 
just trust God. My brothers and my sisters, don't trust your don't trust your own natural thinking self, okay? Because that's where we mess up and we just get everything just all discombobulated and screwed up, all right? Trust God. Hallelujah. Um, and um, so yes, reach out to me, okay? Inbox me, call me. Love to hear from you. 919-537-6144. If and, and you say, well, what is my part in this operation? There's a way out. Thank you for asking. That's a great question. Um, what I'm asking is if you would like to be a part of it, I'm asking you to be a part of this great mission, this great assignment. My brothers and my sisters, you can contribute whatever amount you want. All right. Ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars to it, whatever you want to contribute. That's all I'm asking. Glory to God so that these books will get into the hands of the people that it needs to get into because I know that this is a book of deliverance. I know that this is a book of healing. I have heard people who have read the book and I'm like, wow, I'm just blown away. And I'm just like, God, I am just like, oh, I'm so humbled. I'm like, God, who I would have never thought that sharing my story would have helped so many people. And I, I just want to reach as many, as many, as many, as many as, as, as possible, my brothers and my sisters, so people will know the love of God. They will know that, 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 it, that, that his hand is not too short, that he cannot reach them. So my brothers and my sisters, um, you can also go to my GoFundMe page, www.gofundme forward slash operation. There is a way out. Okay, or either if you want to do Cash App, yes, you can do Cash App as well. Glory to God. Um, and um, just inbox me. I'd love to send that to you. Um, or if, if you just want general information or, hey, you just want to connect in prayer, I'd love to hear from you. Glory to God. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. Thank you so much for chiming in to this segment of The Power to Become. You didn't have to. You could have been anywhere. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you all to life. God bless you. And guess what? I will connect with you all tomorrow. Mwah.